Hello everybody, Mr. Mike here on the side, on the right hand side of your screen. Uh, I am filming this second video like this due to the fact, and don't worry, I guess, I know, the lighting is weird right now. But I'm doing this because I want you guys to be able to see the screen on the Nintendo Switch and not have to worry about, oh, um, there's going to be a problem, you know, there's a too much glare or something on the screen. So I am trying to do these videos and I gotta move this camera thing for a bit. Hold on, sorry. I am gonna be doing this video on setting up your Nintendo Switch, not for the first time, because I already have it set up. I already have a link to my Nintendo account and everything. I have it linked to that. But to set it up with your basics and show you what it's like and on, on you know, the Nintendo Switch uh, interface. So, we're going to start it up. I think I could just start it up like that. Um, when you get into the main menu, when you're already on your Switch and all that, it's going to ask you, oh, you, you got want to continue, just hit A, or you can basically hit any button, but it's going to ask you to hit it three times. It's going to say, hey, press the same button three times. It's weird just to get to the home. I wonder if that's for, like, password protection or something. I don't know. So, there you go. It's pretty loud. Um, let me see, I got it on full. That's almost full, right? Yeah. That's pretty loud. It's a pretty loud device. That ain't bad when it's that loud. And it looks pretty bright. It's a pretty bright device, too. It's pretty bright. Um, it's got the time correctly on there. Right now, I only got 72% battery life. That should be good enough for doing a few things on here. And this is the interface. I changed it to a black interface because it's way better than a white interface because white, you won't be able to do anything on a white interface. You'll be seeing it, it's too bright, it's too, too, uh, but it, right now they only got black or white. Black is pretty good. I'd probably keep it black even if they had like, um, any other kind of interface. I wish they would have it so you can do it like on your Xbox or your PlayStation where you can have, uh, photo or something in the background and use it as your background space. Maybe that'll come down the road when you take screenshots or something of your gameplay and it'll be in the background. That'd be pretty cool. But right now, I'm just going to go with black because it's the easiest to see and read. Uh, down here, you got your your apps, you got your news app, which I didn't go into there yet. Uh, of course, your Nintendo eShop, your album when you uh, take photos and eventually video. Uh, controllers for syncing and all that. You got your system settings and of course you got your sleep mode for when you just want this to go to sleep like a tablet. Uh, let's check out the news. Uh, ARMS Spring 2017. They got some stuff Squid the Kid. Uh, some stuff on Mario Kart 8 and a whole bunch of stuff here for news wise and stuff to probably help you out on your your journey through the Nintendo Switch. And I'll I'll bring this up to you guys a little bit more because I can actually see everything here, right this. Um, so that's the, the Switch uh, interface, pretty much. That's the news app. I guess if I click on one of these, let's see, Squitter Kid. Let's see here. There we go. We've got Oh, I got a video here. Let's see what the video is like. So it's showing basically uh, Splatoon 2's uh, gameplay trailer. And you can probably hear that. It probably, it probably looks really good on the camera. Really good with you. Okay, enough of that. We'll pause that, we'll go back out. So, Splatoon 2, dive into your upcoming Ink Shooter. Just showing you a gameplay trailer of that. Um, folks, yes, I know, I'm looking at my screen right here. I don't know if this is my monitor doing this or if it's actually the video doing this. Let me flip this over for a second here. Yeah, it's just how the lighting is in here. Yes, it is yellowing a bit around here, so sorry about that, but 
It's just because I got the shitty lighting going on, just because I want you to be able to see everything on the screen here on the Switch. And uh, that's all I got right now is this shitty lighting. Uh, so it's going to be yelling a bit more here and now. I, I'm actually noticed that. Uh, let's see here. Can I zoom this out and get it better? Zoom it in? I can actually zoom it in if I wanted to. I should do that if I want to go and do a close-up. But I'll just keep it the way it is for now. Okay, so we'll go back to the home screen. Just hit home. We're gonna set up. We're gonna set up its storage space. Cause right now, let's go into the settings. Yes, I want to go into settings. Like I said, it's got a touch screen. Oh, and it actually has, it makes some noises. Listen to this. It makes a little <laughs> when you're going into the settings. It's got your basic settings here, and this is probably where I'll zoom in a bit. It's always good to have a nice zoom in here. It's got your stuff, your basic stuff, airplane mode just like any tablet does. Screen brightness, I can up the screen brightness if I want. You know, I'll keep it lower for the video because you don't need too much brightness for this anyways. I can see it on the screen perfectly well at a lower brightness. Um, I just got to back out of this. There we go. Uh, screen lock, lock, council, and sleep mode, uh, parental controls. So if you got kids and stuff, you want to do that with the parental controls. Um, well, it's got my network ID and stuff. You you don't care about that. System memory, as you can see, it's got 25.9 gigabytes, just like in that previous video uh, that you probably seen from the legal switch that the one guy owned. That's because there's some system use data on there, especially when there was the uh, day one edition update, that would be on there too. Um, as you can also see, no micro SD card inserted yet, but we will put one on there. And for managing software and managing stuff like your game save and data, it is kind of arbitrary, I we noticed. And I was watching stuff on there. All you got is manage screenshots, and delete save data. You don't have anything for transferring game saves, which your game saves are going to be permanently on this device. I don't think there's any cloud saving, and I don't think there's going to be a way until maybe hopefully later on where you'll be able to transfer your game saves from one switch to another switch. And a lot of people are a little frustrated by that. Me, I'm pretty much only going to have one switch, <laughs> um, so it's not going to matter for me, but other people, it might matter. And, of course, I don't have any software yet, so I've got nothing to manage on there. Uh, but we will. We will soon. Uh, user stuff. Uh, that's just my regular Demonic 17 thing. We've got some friend codes. Amiibo stuff. Themes. Like I said, you only got black or white. I would recommend choosing black. Definitely. Notifications. How do you want to hear your notifications? Do you want... Notifications from when your download is complete, friend no notifications, and notification sound. What do you want it to do? When do you want it to go to sleep and all that? Just like any tablet and console. Controller vibration. You can change the way your uh, controllers work. TV settings. How do you want your uh, TV to look? Or how do you want your system to look on your TV? And, of course, system stuff. System What system update it's at. Just like uh, you would see on your Android device or something like that. Um, this is my Switch, so it's Demonic 17 Switch. I'm English. America's Time and System. So we can get out of that. I am going to put it on a micro SD card right now. So, what I'm going to do... it says, I don't think it says anything about minding if you do it while it's on or off. But I am going to put it in sleep mode. There. And now I'm going to pop in a micro SD card first. So... I bought, for your information, a nice 200 gigabyte SanDisk Ultra micro SD XC card here. Uh, it cost about, what was it, $60, $70 from Amazon. It's very fast and it's probably, eh, one of the, it's cheap enough that if you were going to go like 256 the next one up, I think it is, or 250 or 256, you're going to be spending yourself at least upwards to 250 bucks for that card. 
So I said, you know what, 200 gigabytes is perfect for now. And of course, I'm sure SanDisk and a whole bunch of other people, after all these switches launch and stuff, and because they support up to two terabytes of these on these micro SD cards, I'm sure they're going to start making the higher capacity cards down the road just so they can sell them to all of us for premium prices so we can put them in our switches. But right now I only got this. So I'm going to open this bad boy up, which I'm going to use my trusty knife for because that's what I do. I'm going to cut this bad boy open. There we go. Flip that up. Cut that out. Like so. Break that sucker open because this is a nice uh, hardcore plastic. It's got a nice little pull tab to it, so that's good. Open. Yes, I want to open you. Here, let me flip you open. I hate having no real grip. Peel back the plastic. Make sure I don't drop out the micro SD card here. And not touch the metal plates. Wow, you wouldn't think that nowadays. Nowadays you can get a little micro SD card with a lot of storage on it on this little 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 <laughs> little 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 not even paper this is paper thin almost little piece of plastic 200 gigabytes on this little little thing go figure now as for the Nintendo Switch where do I put in this micro SD card slot in the slot underneath the kickstand which everybody hates so you got this cheap, cheesy plastic kickstand, which everybody is complains about. And then the micro SD card goes right into here. Right into that little slot there. So I'm going to pop that sucker in, like so. Prongs going down, of course, if this is how you're supposed to do it. I'm going to push that sucker, the bad boy, in. You hear a click, so you know it's in. So it's in there. I'm going to put the cover back down, or the... Should I say the kickstand slash cover down because I'm not going to need that. going to pop that back up. We're back. Home screen and stuff. Let's set this card up. System update required to use the micro SD XC card. I perform a system update layer. Return to home. No, I want to perform it now. And it should be already updated. I already updated. Available update now? Yes. Maybe this is a separate update just to use this micro SD card. Okay, updating. Update complete. Well, we're starting in three seconds. Okay. Nintendo. Nintendo Switch. And there we go. We got our home screen again. Time, we're at 69% on battery, and I bet if we go in here, let's turn it on. Ah, there we go. Then we go into settings, and we scroll on down here. Now you can see that we have 183 gigabytes on this micro SD card. So not your full 200 gigabytes, uh, which I don't know why they only say 183 gigabytes because I do have a 200 gigabyte card, but they don't show all of it yet. But it's in there. It is ready to use and to put games on. I just don't, you know, it's probably because they want the extra gigs for some system data or something on for the card. Don't ask me why. That's how all technology is, folks. So don't worry or threat that, oh shit, it's not 200 gigs. You're only getting 183 gigabytes on your micro SD card. Yes, I, I understand that, but that's what happens. Uh, so if we go over to manage and save, I wonder if it shows anything. Delete save data, nah. Can't do nothing. Okay, going back to the home screen. Okay, so we got our memory in there, count setup, all that stuff. Which you you don't you don't need to sh I don't need to show you how to set up accounts. It's very easy to set up an account on this Nintendo Switch. So uh, you just have to you know turn it on, uh, get your it on Wi-Fi and all that, and then set up your account or log into your Nintendo uh, account 
with your account name, not your Nintendo ID, which I kept on screwing up a lot because I thought it was asking me for my Nintendo ID. No, it was asking for what my Nintendo account was. And I couldn't figure it out from the, the love of me on why that was. And well, stupid me, I figured it out and then I set up my Nintendo ID or Nintendo account on here and linked it to here. And you know, got my eShop going and everything. So I wanna put in a game now. So, let's go out with the camera, not in. Okay, what game am I gonna put in here? Well, everybody loves to do Zelda. Everybody tries to do Zelda first. You know what, I'm gonna break your Zelda tradition, folks, and I'm gonna put in some Bomberman, because I know a lot of people are saying some crude things about Bomberman. I watched people play Bomberman. I watched John Bomb play Bomberman. I can understand why some of you don't like the Bomberman that it is. But you know what? I'm gonna try out some freaking Bomberman. Let's try this sucker out. Let's get it open. Got the nice uh, game case here. Look at the little card for that nice giant game case. And that is because they say it's because, oh, they need to make it look nice and big on the store shelf. So that's why they do that stuff. So there's the game and the game case, how it looks. Looks like a Vita case to me. A little bit bigger than a Vita case, maybe. <laughs> And then little, little tiny card and no booklet inside, but it does tell you some stuff to do. So I'm gonna take this out. Another thing that people were telling me, whoops, this I don't break my switch while I'm doing this. Another thing that was told to me that people were, I don't know, worried about or it just made a promise. These little switch cards, these game cards, make a noise when you shake them, listen. Can you hear that? If you can hear that, the cartridge is a little bit like, I hope you can hear that because it does make a noise when you shake it. I don't know why. I don't know if it's just the memory inside this cart that doesn't, that's not fully in there and there's some gap in there. Probably some gap to let it keep cool or something, keep the chip cool inside this card, the memory for the games and stuff to keep cool. I can probably understand that, but um, a lot of people are saying, well, why is it shaking? Why is it making noise like that? A lot of people didn't like that. So what we're going to do, going to open up the game cart here. And I found out that this does something different than any other electronics device. Tablets or anything else you pop in a, a game. <sighs> uh, as I got something on the screen that annoys me, sorry. If you pop in a game or something, you always think that the prongs go in, right? Right towards the hardware, that the the linkage would be towards the hardware? No, if you can see in here, which I don't think you can. Sorry, folks. I don't think you can see it. But if you were able to see it inside there, I think you can see it a little bit. I can see it. The prongs are going outside of the console. They're going this way to the console instead of in, innard. So when you pop in a cartridge, and I think Nintendo wanted to do this so you can see what games you're putting in there. So when you have it in console mode or tablet mode, it'll always go in that one way where you can see it and it'll go in. They wanted you to put it in like this. So the reading part of the console is out and this part is in. So it's not this way like everything else does. It's this way because Nintendo wants to be different. So I'll just pop in this cartridge for the first time. No cartridges have been inserted in the system yet. And it, look, it recognized it right away. It recognized Bomberman right away, folks. So we're going to go ahead. I'm going to zoom back into my switch here. If I can do that. There we go. I don't want to go too far. There we go. And it says Super Bomberman R. And on the side, it shows the cartridge. If it's a downloadable game, it would probably show like a downloadable title to it. And they said if it's a game that you don't have inserted onto your handheld console, it'll show it in like a, like an asterisk, like a like a ghost version of it. But we have the cartridge in here. We're gonna play some Bomberman, so I'll click on it. Uh, it says start software down. A new update is available and it will be downloaded now. Yes, yeah, so let's update it. I want it fully updated before I play. So let's watch this update. Let's see how long it takes to update. 
Because usually when you download something on your Nintendo device or Sony device for any update purpose, and notice I didn't say Xbox because usually my Xbox updates go very quickly, it takes a while. This seems to be going pretty quickly. But but I, I, will, dis, I will say in a disclaimer, I am next to my wireless router in my office right now, so... It could be getting like the best signal it'll ever get. And it still shows on the screen only one bar for the signal <laughs> up here. <laughs> Go figure. But it is updating. I want the up I want the update downloaded first before I start playing any Bomberman. I want it fully working and activated. It's making a little download noise. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Uh, as we wait, must be a lot of stuff that's downloading. I noticed something. It it makes that noise every time it goes up in the percentage. So, 80, 81, 82, 83, 84, 84. Interesting. Okay, it's almost done, folks. Not bad. Usually it takes a lot longer. Oh, that one complete. Now it is updating. Select a user. Well, that user is only one user on here, so that's me. I don't know why you have to select a user, but, yeah. Tendo Switch. I'll try to hold this in a way so you can see it. This ain't the proper way to... Uh, review or see a game, but I'm just showing it for video purposes like this and you can see my camera in the background there So It's hard to do it this way when I do other game videos. They'll be directly taken from the Nintendo switch uh, Console via HDMI notice Konami it has put out this game who would ever guess that Konami would put out this game because they don't forget they own Hudson and the Bomberman license this game uses an autosave feature. Do not turn off your console. Well, the bomb logo is on the right corner. Okay, I got you. We're going to go just in the battle right now. We're going to go local. Which I'm hoping there's some AI. Um, let's see here. Uh, we want three sets, time, three minutes, start position fix, revenge carts on, pressure blocks on, skulls. I'm turning those off, I don't like skulls. Special abilities. Uh, we'll just do four player. We'll have your regular. Yeah, we'll go and just do regular. And then hopefully there will be some. I know there's nobody else playing this, but I think there should be some AI coming on here if I did this right. This is the first time I'm playing this, so. Let's see here. Yeah, let's exit for a second. It's not letting me do what I want it to do, and that is, uh, let's see here, battle versus online battle, local battle, multiplayer battle. I mean, I gotta go in the multiplayer battle. Whoops. Um, let's see here. Yeah.
Okay, I'm going to be white. Com, com, computer. Oh, okay, here we go. None computer. Okay, so you can do computer. Okay, good. Because I was wondering, I'm like, hey, can, can I do computer on this? And it's got some loud speakers. This is pretty loud to me. I'm in the upper left-hand corner, so bomb there. It feels pretty nice to me. There we go, kicking off some bombs to this guy. Oh, I died! Ah, oh, shoot, it's got a rumble to it. It's hard to play when you're on the side here. Oh, player 4 won that one. Ah, uh, I'm not good. Like I said, I'm I'm looking at a totally different thing here. So sleepy. It's got good stuff go noises. I, I like the little added voices to it. This seems not so bad. And I'm playing, looking at another, my video screen next to me. I'm not even looking at the the game thing, and I can still see it. See it. Oh shit! Oh, I can't believe I made it through that. This ain't the ideal way to play this game. Oh shit. Oh shit, I died. Oh, I did die. Ah, oh, man. Oh, it's blue and red. It's not me. Oh, look at that. They got spikes instead of a wall, it's spikes. Come on, Blue, do something. Ah, oh, well, red one again. Victory is mine. Victory is mine. Red one again, folks. Oh, right. that was a blast. Red is the winner. I I clearly suck at playing this while looking at the mire, but it plays great. It plays great. I don't know what other people are talking about. It seems to play very good on that. And I, you know, and I'm playing this on, uh, no, we'll just go to main menu. And I'm playing this just looking at a, the screen next to here. I'm not even looking at this screen, I'm looking at a screen a, across from it. So, go figure. And of course it has its story mode, which I will try out. Uh, shopping, some other stuff, but, yeah, I'm not, uh, I'm not complaining. I think it's a good game so far, what I've played, and all, the mostly the only thing I like to play is against other people, on a, a battle mode system via Switch player, other Switch players. So usually battles are gonna be my main thing, but I am gonna try out the story this time of Bomberman. Because sometimes the Bomberman story could be quite well. And like I said, the Switch, it is pretty loud. Like, you can, I, it's pretty loud with in my ear right now. So I, I don't doubt that the speakers can't handle a good sound. So I'm gonna get out of this. Let's see here. Main menu, playing. So if I don't want to play anymore, you can close software, the software by play, pressing X. Uh, close the software you are currently using. Yes, we're gonna close the software. Okay, so we're gonna pop in Zelda next. So I am gonna take out Bomberman.
put it back in its case because we played it already. And like I said, I got no fingernails, so it takes a little longer for me to open this, but this one seems a lot easier to open than a regular uh, cartridge case. So I guess I push in, pull out. As I do that, you can see that the Bomberman, the logo on the Bomberman thing is shows no cartridge. It's all in dotted lines because there's no cartridge in there anymore. So it actually tells you and shows you that, oh yes, you played this game on here. You might own this game, but you can't play because you have no cartridge. And you can click on it, it says, please insert game cart. But you'll know if you have it on there or not. So I'm going to take out Zelda now. And like I said, these are the only two games I got for the system. If I can open up the Zelda case. I'm doing this all of one hand, folks. Pop into some Zelda. I'm sure there's going to be a nice update for this as well. And it sees Zelda, Breath of the Wild, folks. I like that. I like how I like how it rec not only recognizes the software like right away, right when you pop in that cartridge, but it, you know, it gives you the feeling like, oh yeah, nice. Look at that. It gives you nice artwork on here. So we're gonna get into that. Do you want to do the software update? Of course I do. So let's see how long this software update takes for Zelda Breath of the Wild. Six percent, seven, eight, nine, eleven, twelve. As you can see here, beautiful back box art. I like the boxes quite well. It looks pretty nice. These boxes, E from everybody, tells you all the stuff about the games. Very nice side. Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild Nintendo Switch. It's got the Switch logo. Not bad design. Same with Bomberman. Wahahaha! Bomberman's 33rd um, anniversary since 1983, folks. Before I was born, Bomberman came out. And that was by Hudson Soft, not Konami originally, before Konami purchased Hudson. I love me some Bomberman. Now we're at 67% and climbing. I can't wait to actually play this uh, also on my TV set to find out how it looks on my big 60 inch TV. It's probably gonna look really good. And then, uh, like I said, I wanna play a lot of these games in handheld mode for myself because I'm big on console game like handheld games or console handheld games that are like console games something that the Vita tried to do but didn't do a hundred percent download complete yes I want to link it to this I don't know why you have to link it to your profile but you do and now here comes Zelda Breath of the Wild or Z the Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild sorry da -da -da. And that's probably going to be loud too, no one. Nintendo Presents. The Legend of Zelda. In small print, folks. Breath of the Wild. Can you fast forward through all this? I guess you can't. Open your eyes. Sorry, I'm getting the Open I'm getting the the movement, you know, the out of focus movement because of the bright white. Wake up. And this is what you've seen in the trailers and stuff. It looks pretty damn good on this screen. This screen is beautiful. 
This is like what the Vita had before, almost. I don't think this is an OLED screen, folks, but this is a pretty damn good LCD screen that they actually used or ha got for this Nintendo Switch. It is a pretty damn good looking screen. Like, I'm looking at it right here on the thing, and it looks pretty damn good. Sorry about that. Like I said, it goes out of focus every time I do something. Okay, so it's telling me to play, and this is going to be probably harder for me to play, so let's see if I can play this by doing this this way. Um, move. Controls. Examine. This is where you get your physical tablet, I think. Yeah, you get your Switch tablet. That is a Sheikah Slate. Oh, a Sheikah Slate, sorry. It will help guide you after your long slumber. After your long slumber. Yes, I will take your Sheikah Slate tablet, a.k.a. the Switch tablet. <laughs> Got a little bit. Sheikah Slate. A mysterious tablet with the glowing center. Uh, you've never seen this uh, device before. And yet there's something familiar about it. Oh, I wonder why. Because maybe because you're playing it on a handheld device. <laughs> and they like to focus some games around the way you pl where you play them on. Even though you can play on a console too. And I'm just going to mess around in here a little bit. I'm just going to go through here and... Because I can't really see the game too well uh, like this. So, um... Let's see. I'm just going to see if I can get out of here. Okay. Holding up the Sheikah, set, Sheikah tablet. And this isn't going to be my real gameplay. I'm going to restart this game again because there's some stuff that I did not take out. So, uh... Like I said, it's got very, it's a very loud speakers. I can hear these pretty well. Now, like I said, this isn't my official game pl uh, play because there is stuff in this cave or in this place where you can get, like I can get clothes from here and stuff. I forgot where they are. I'd have to look around, but they're in here, I guess. But I'm just going to head on out so we can just show you the, a little bit of the outside world for a little bit. I wonder if I can switch the gameplay controls because they got X for jump. I'd rather have like B to jump or something, possibly. Let's see here. Where am I at? Okay. I gotta climb. There we go. And outside I go. And of course everything you see there you can go to apparently in this game. The first for Nintendo to do.
Tree branch. Use weapon. Okay, so I can hit things with this. Sounds beautiful, it looks beautiful too. Mushroom. Oh, I can climb up the tree? Huh. <laughs> I'm climbing up the tree, folks. Oh, look, the tree uh, disappears a little bit. So you can climb up it and see through it. Interesting. Uh oh, I'm running out of uh, I'm running out of my uh, stamina. Do I? If I wait here, does it gr come back? No, it just stays like that. That's weird. Uh oh. Uh oh. I heard you can fall off and die. Yep, you fall off. You fall off the tree. Because you lose all your stamina. There's the old man. Like I said, I'm not I'm not playing this correctly. I'm just going through. I wanna I wanna go up to one of those enemies. Minus to look at the Sheikah Slate. Uh, oh, there's the point. Oh, bad guy. Hey, killed the bad guy. Oh, no, I did. There we go. Killed the bad guy now. Or not. I think I could pick up a rock. Let's see here. Okay. Now I got an axe. I can use this axe and axe this guy. There he is. He's hiding in the corner there. There we go. He dead now. Yeah, so pretty much Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Big open world, really nice and colorful, really nice design. Uh oh. Ah, uh, another bad guy that I can't get because I got no weapons. Like I said, I'm not playing this right at all. I'm pretty much naked and I got no real weapons, so. Now, if I go back, if I go back into here, oh, I lost that. Okay, I got no bombs or nothing. Okay, yep, yeah, I'm pretty much not in a good position here. But I'll play more later. So there you go, folks. That's the Nintendo Switch. Um, in action pretty much handheld version. It looks very beautiful 
every game and it sounds amazing. And I like it. I like it a lot. And I am gonna close the software. Yes, close. There we go. Yeah, I like it a lot so far. Just playing, just setting up now and playing it a little bit. And the updates seem to go really fast on Wi-Fi. Uh, the screen looks amazing. It looks really bright and beautiful. And I have it on a lower, a lower brightness setting. And um, the the music on here, it's loud as hell. It's loud as hell. The sound. Uh, battery life does seem to be going down. It's already at 56% down from what it was earlier at, what was it, 80, 80, 90? I think it was 80%. Uh, but what do you expect? <laughs> it's a, it's a handheld tablet that has a lot of power, a lot of horsepower in it. Just to be a console and a handheld, understandable. So this has been a nice look at the Nintendo Switch in action from yours truly me, Mr. Mike. With two games that I have gotten for it, I will be getting more down the road. Got any comments or questions for me? Feel free to email me at corecast2011 at gmail.com. Feel free to tweet me at juju2cast, which is my Twitter handle. And always feel free to go to my website at juju2cast.com. That is juju2cast.com, the juju2cast network. For vi more videos, podcasts to come up, there will be one Switch-based podcast uh, coming up from the Games Attack Audio Cast. And I will hopefully have, well, not hopefully, I will have more uh, videos to come. There will be gameplay videos of Bomberman and The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. When I get this hooked up to a console, my console mode, and put in a console mode, then I'll do uh, gameplay videos of that. And anything else you might want to know about it. I think it's pretty cool. I cannot wait to use this nice Pro Controller with it. That's going to be sweet too. So, there you have it. Uh, the inside look of the Switch. 